Welcome back to an All Signs Aries through Pisces. Elemental cookies first. If it does not resonate, let it go. Acknowledge, move on, take what does, and leave the rest behind. Check your other placements on Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Aries. Dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius source. What do we have for fire signs? Ten of Wands. Okay, so this person feels very burdened or that something's taking too long. Could be just their own personal goals that are hard to achieve. What else? King of Pentacles. I do feel like this is something, not nothing to do with you. I feel like this person's having a hard time wanting to, you know, they're really striving to make an effort towards a goal they're trying to meet. What else? So if you feel disconnected from this person, that would be why. Six of Wands. It's not that they don't want to pay attention to you. They do. One more. I'm nosy. One more. And then Strength. Yeah. They're trying to... It's almost like they're trying to do everything all at once. The other three pentacles. Work-related, work-related, and trying to collaborate and be able to balance everything and have time for everything heavy on the Leo, but this person does care. They do care. They're trying to make the cash out dinero and balance and juggle out everyday life. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra. All right. King of Swords. This person's back and forth. That came out kind of goofy. The Tower. All right, if you had a falling out with this person, sometimes they're pissed and then sometimes they're not. I think they're pissed at themselves. What else? Why the emotional coldness? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. That's trying to restrain from any connection with you and just remain single, but I don't think... I think they're doing it almost out of spite. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, slow as hell. It's not that they don't want to be with you. You got the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Why are they being so cold? Why so cold? The Fool. Maybe they just want to disconnect right now. I, I don't think this is done done. I really don't with the Three of Cups here. They could be out drinking. Drinking thinking. It's underneath of that. Ten of Cups. They want to be happy. I think they're being a little shithead. This also can be that they think that you're, they're thinking about you because Aries is the fool. I hate to say that, but it's true. We're also the emperor. But their coldness kind of comes and goes, comes and goes. You might have told them that, that you wanted a fresh break too. All right. I ain't happy about it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ace of Wands. Well, that's a definite sexual interest, but it can be a brand new, very sensual, passionate, fast developing. I want to stick it to you. Oh, hush, Wookie. Why the Seven of Cups? This is like this person's really interested in you, and yet there's confusion. Is it yours or theirs? Seven of Pentacles. I feel like it's yours, having doubt in them. One more. One more. Eight of Wands. So expect some communication. Quick communication. I do think that they feel like you're holding back a little bit or have some doubt in them. I wouldn't say that you need to doubt this person. You got the Gemini, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. There's a connection here that's like, woo, Mufasa. Woo, Mufasa. All right. Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns, please, Source. One more shuffle. Not wanting to talk to us today. All right. King of Wands. King of Wands. Very passionate, bold man or woman. Let them just stake their claim. What else do we have? Justice. Ooh. Wanting balance, wanting fairness. And then you got the Queen of Swords reversed. So this person, it does feel to me could be in a disconnection or somebody that they're dealing with that is in a disconnect you know like they're separating from somebody and they're feeling better about themselves but they're dealing with a pissed off person 
they still feel like it's the right thing to do for them to come your direction queen of cups so yeah they're dealing with a barracuda somebody that's pissed off about a disconnection with them but they do feel like it's the right thing to do for them and they do want to offer you something new but i feel like they are dealing with wrapping up things or need to wrap up things with an x x to b i don't think that they're lying because that queen of swords reversed is not a happy person no major chip on the shoulder okay the Wookiee's getting us an oracle. Okay. We got a new deck. It will be in the description box down below. Uh, v Crystals. We absolutely love her. We have Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Yes. And I Want You Back by Insync. Okay. Unbreak My Heart. I'm not going to sing, see? That's why we got this, so that I don't have to sing. And the crystals came up with this. I'm like, oh, yes, must have. All right, Aries. Let's see. I want you back and break my heart. All right. Source. Person most on Aries' mind. What are they thinking? Three of Wands. Okay. What direction are they going with the Three of Wands? That's planning. So do they need to make a change before they can come your direction is what I'm feeling you need to say right now you have the hermit for them. So they're deep in thought about making a move. Ooh, what just flew out is the Ten of Pentacles that deals with a long-term connection. All right, tell us more about this long-term connection or family connection. Ace of Swords, it's like they, there's something that needs to be talked out. So what this person's thinking about right now is, I want to be able to change what's coming in the future. I want to be able to do this. I'm really deep in thought about how to do this. It's like trying to get enough information, trying to go within and take care of a situation that needs to change. But it does involve family. With the Ace of Swords, it's like they need to tell the truth. They need to, be, to, to clarify the truth of something. How do they view Aries? How do they view Aries? Nine of Cups. So they consider you to be wish fulfillment. Okay. What action might they take? Three of Pentacles. That's saying that this person feels that you are the right one for them. Between the Nine of Cups saying, I can't get you off my mind. I think that you are the right one for me, but there's something, there's one cup missing here and they need to take care of it. Bottom of the deck, it's going to be a little bit of time before they're ready to do this, but there's something that they need to sacrifice, something they need to give up. All right. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Feeling source. Ace of cups. Wow. Okay, so I'm feeling the need to say that they're trying to manifest this with you. It's like, even if they haven't been talking to you, this is how they feel. They feel like there's something they have to take care of. With the hermit here, you might not be talking to this person right now, but they are deep in thought about how to make this work. Make it work. Make it work. Manifesting. It's like you are so deep in this person's thoughts and wanting a new beginning. But something needs to come out first. One more for the Ace of Swords. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay. There needs to be a discussion. There needs to be a discussion within this family or whatever this family connection is. And it needs to be talked out. They need to tell the truth to somebody so that they can leave. It's kind of what I'm... It's like they... I feel like that should have actually been upright. It's like they're in between stages. Wheel of Fortune, but wanting to move forward. What is the blockage? Two of Cups and the Moon. There's somebody that they're still in a connection with. They need to... They need to tell the truth. They need to tell somebody what's going on and how they're feeling about things. With the Emperor reversed, they feel controlled by somebody. Who's controlling this person? 
Okay, male or female, it's somebody that they could be married to or in a, in a, that's the connection, okay? Why do they feel obligated to this person? There's a choice that they have to make so that they can move forward and be with you. Three of Cups, that's reconciling or bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. They want to make this tangible, they want to make this real. How do you view this situation? You have the Knight of Wands reversed. It's like, this is something that's been, I don't feel player action here. I feel on and off. I feel in between worlds. It's like, do I go this way? Do I go that way? What do I do? Making you a little bit cold or it's making this person a little bit cold. Five of Wands. There's going to be some arguments this person's got to deal with before they can move forward. Your actual feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Four of Wands. I want to be happy. Does this move forward? Six of Pentacles. Sure the hell looks like it. Six of Pentacles is being generous. So there is something that this person has to wrap up before this can be taken care of. It's going to leave somebody feeling very put out. They need to clarify that with this person before they can move forward. They do feel... The situation with you is not done with death reverse, but they do feel obligated to the emperor reversed or that this person's controlling. There's a feeling of control. Somebody's not going to be happy with the choice that they make. Knight of Pentacles. And they're taking their time. There's something about time and there's something about husband, wife, long-term situation. And it's going to be a bad, ugly fight that they have to endure and go through. They're pussyfooting around a little bit. They're afraid of hurting other people, and they know it's going to hurt them at the same time. Children involved? Possibly. But they need to do what's right for them, and I think they're finally realizing that, but they need a little bit of a push. That chariot is making me feel the need to say that you need to tell them that it's time to do what's best for themselves. With the Six of Swords, no one has time to move to something that's better for you. Two of Pentacles, they really, you know, there's a lot of twos up here. They need to make a choice, but can be a Cancer here as well. But this is saying you need a little push, you need a little more direction. So they're trying to get that. It can be a Libra with that. A lot of this is at the bottom of the deck. They're afraid of hurting somebody. This does deal with, I want to be happier. Mm-hmm. So Pisces also up here. Hold him back. Between the Hermit and the Hangman, it's this feeling of... I'm having this epiphany, but they need a little bit of encouragement. There's arguing and fighting going on with this person that they are with, but they need to they need to disconnect so that they can come your direction. And it does look like they want to do so, but they're, you know, right here. The whole energy to start out taking time. This is going to take some time. It's a matter of this person doing something about the situation so they can be with you, not vice versa. You can encourage this person to do it. You can tell them how you feel about them. I do think with the Knight of Wands reverse that they're not sure that you feel the same way. But it feels like it, it's like uh, it comes and goes. A little hint here, a little hint there. And then, it, you know, they pull it back. But deep down, they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to manifest this. They feel this connection with you. That's initiation of a new beginning. This is being happy in the long run. It does look like it's coming. They do need to take care of a significant other so that they can move on. The world is a beautiful card of saying one situation is done, but karma right here, moving forward. Beautiful energy. Time. Time is of the essence here. So as far as unbreak my heart and I want you back, I don't know that you've actually... It seems like there's only been a small portion of you that actually had this person and it hasn't completely actually started up yet, honestly, because they seem to be more in this long term that they need to get out of before you can have an opportunity. Let's get an answer from Source. Aries, Source. Sure thing. It's a sure thing. Still being considered. So somebody's got cold feet about telling somebody the truth about how they feel. 
All right, Aries, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Okay, elements of quickies, Tauruses. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, source. You have the Empress, so this person thinks highly of you. That's nice. Also can be a Libra or another Taurus, but I'm thinking this is how they're viewing you. But they're a little bit afraid. They're a little bit intimidated. They do want a nice, they want to be giving towards you, but they don't know if they can trust this for some reason. That or they're just kind of a pussy to come your direction, feeling intimidated. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Cuppity Cups. This person wants to romance her panties off. What else? With intent to be in a connection. That's nice energy. Ooh, leaving it. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. person doesn't want to be single or they were codependent quote on you prior I don't think they want to be single and they want to talk so come in coming in come in coming in they don't want to let go of you okay Let's see what we have for Taurus Virgo Capricorn source Ooh, this person's pissed can be kind of cruel when they're pissed off only care about themselves so they're being a feeling a little bit a lot of bit selfish right now because of what why the seven of pentacles reversed did you drop them so that you could be happier they would be happier if you didn't drop it i'll tell you that they're wishing that you'd come back and see differently it's like you you've got so much doubt in me it ticks me off so this person still might come your way or did they drop because that would make them happier? One more for that. Seven of Pentacles reversed. No, this is somebody that feels that you're the right one for them. They also could have been in a different connection and had to drop something else so that they can be happier. Just saying. All right. It's like third party hell today. I can feel it already. Okay. We have a new deck, and the Wookiee's going to get you an Oracle. Okay. Here goes the Wookiee. All right, you have Inside That I Cried by C.C. Peniston. And I Want You Back by Insane. Okay, Inside That I Cried. All right, Taurus, let's see what this is about. Person most on Taurus's mind. What are they thinking, please, Taurus? All right, what came out is this tower moment that happened. Could have been between the two of you, but it's a rude awakening, something major. Why the tower? Seven of swords came out sideways. So did the tower semi sorta. Tell us more about the seven of swords. Did this person leave? Oh shit, they did. And now they're regretting the hell out of it. Uh oh. How do they view you? They're stuck. They're probably stuck on you. One more to clarify the Eight of Swords. It's like they can't get you out of your their head. Now they feel like they fuck shit up for good. Do you not feel the same way is what they're thinking. It's like, I, I really screwed up here and now this is not such a good, good position they put themselves in. How do they actually feel about you? One more shuffle. One more shuffle. They do want to come clean with you. They want to have a chat, but this looks like this person bailed. And now really regretting it. Yep. Yep, yep. Wanting to turn back around. They're not making any progress at all. This person's kind of a candy ass. It's like they screwed shit up royally. Now they're just sitting there with their thumb up their ass. They do have feelings for you. More on feeling source. There it is, King of Cups. Okay. What is the blockage? What is the blockage with this person? Because they're sitting on their fucking ass doing nothing. 
not talking, not movement, not nothing. So they're sitting around thinking about you and how they screwed shit up by leaving. How do you view this? This is somebody that you still have feelings for, that you still feel emotionally committed to, but they hurt you. You have the sun at the bottom of the deck. We're going to pull it out and just put it to the side. Can be a Leo, can be a Taurus. Can be a Scorpio, can be a Cancer. Ouch. Your actual feelings. They're not doing a damn thing. How do they figure anything is going to go anywhere? So if you're wondering if this person still cares, yes, they do. Are you moving forward without them or are you waiting for them to come back? One more for the Wheel of Fortune. You're trying to manifest them back. This is initiation. So if you reached out, if Taurus reached out, they they definitely have respect for you. All right, a little more on that, please. It would end up being, you could start over, okay? You're still salty about whatever the hell they did. They're not confused anymore. If you're juggling the concept of trying to reach out to this person about the connection that you had, they do have a lot of remorse here, but they're a candy ass and don't want to reach out because they feel like they've just fucked up beyond repair. This is showing that you're depressed not having them in your life and that you're, tr you're thinking about them so much that you're trying to move things forward and get this. If you reached out, it does seem like they would be open. One more for the ace. Yeah, it's who's budging. The three of wands is movement forward, but it's a wait. So it's like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Waiting. It's something that you may have dropped, thinking it's just not going anywhere, but you still have hopes. There is still hope for this connection. Yes. Did they drop the toxic shit? It sure looks like it. If you're wondering if they did, yeah, it was one hell of a headache, but they dropped whatever the hell it was, and it looks like they had stepped out. Thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Didn't turn out so well for them. That person that they stepped out with turned out to be a fucking headache, and they didn't realize it was going to turn out that way, but they blossed it. Can be an Aquarius, but this is a new beginning. The hangman is that they, you know, that epiphany of, okay, I thought I was giving this up here. I thought I was trying to, but you're really mentally, physically not. You're not giving up on this. You have not given up on this. They have not either. This can be again. This connection can be again. This can be, yes, judgment on the bottom of the deck. Yes. Starting over, they're watching you. They're watching you, wanting to come in, play flirty, flirty, try to feel you out a little bit, but they feel like you aren't going to budge. So this person feels like you are so pissed off that there's not a snowball's chance in hell that you would take them back. If you really, if this is your story and you really want this person, they're keeping everything inside because they feel that they screwed up so badly, but they are not letting go of the thought of you, but they feel like they just damaged this beyond repair. And it's it's almost almost mirroring, except you're the one that was left. You still have faith. If this is your story, it's your story. If not, my apologies, not your story today. But they have more respect for you than, than they had. It's almost like uh, they feel they're not good enough for you because of whatever they did. But there can be a balance. But you have to let the old connection die with that tower burning down. So that you can turn this around so things can move forward. Right now, they're a candy ass. They're being a pussy. They feel like they're not good enough for you to be able to move this forward. So you have Cancer, Pisces up here. It does seem like whether you realize it or not, you're manifesting that's initiation. Every time you have a positive memory or thought of them that feels good, you're manifesting them. You're depressed without them. You're sad. You're gloom. You're glum. Taurus, this can move forward absolutely beautifully. It's changes. It's unseen changes, but it can happen. So if you're looking, thinking about making a move because they're not or wondering if they want you to, they do. They do. Scorpio, 
all signs are up here. All right, let's get something from the, so yes, they do want you back and they are hurting inside and regretting. A lot of regret. They did that to themselves. All right, source, little direction for Taurus. Little direction for Taurus. Yes, indeed. That's what we have. And you already know the answer came right underneath of it. All right, Tauruses, that's what we have for you. And on we go. All right, Geminis, elemental quickies. What do we have for Aries, Leo, Sag, Source? All right, this person's busted. What else? Ouch. Okay, so this was a long-term connection and not talking anymore. Ouchity ouch. It's at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. They pissed you off royally. So they caused a disconnection. Whether they meant to or not, they sure the hell did. Okay. Let's see what we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Looking good. So they're viewing you as single and ready to mingle. What else? Queen of Wands. Reversed. They also wonder if you're going to be the type to stick around or not. It's like your independence might mean too much to you. That's kind of how they're feeling. But they do want to be with you. They want to pay attention to you. They want attention back. So this feels like they're going, are you going to be the type to stick around or not? All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of Cups. All right, coming back around, coming back around. What else? All right, this person knows that if they come your way and they want to do so very quickly, that they're going to have to put a lot of work into shit. But they do want to come back. Yes. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. All right. little regret going on here, but this can be a potential apology. What else? What else? What's up, Scooby-Doo? I don't feel like they want to move on from you. No, they want to duke it out. Okay, so there's been some drama here. They're feeling this. They want things to move forward. They still consider you to be the person that they want to be with that's more responsible. Apology. Bickering, battling. There could have been something competitive. I want one more for that five of wands, please. It's like they test your patience. Who's budging first? Who's budging first? You might be more open to this and moving forward with them if they came in with that apology, but until then, it remains to be seen. Okay. And the Wookiee is getting us two oracles. Okay. We have I Want You Back by Sync. Inside That I Cried by C.C. Peniston. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. <coughs> all right, Gemini. Person most on Gemini's mind. Source. What's that person thinking? One more shuffle. What's that person thinking? Temperance reversed. Impatience. All right, why is this person... Impatient. Hang man. Hmm. I feel like their behavior is really shitty and they're holding back on purpose. Why the Ten of Wands reversed? They're dropping it. They're being a salty little asshole. Why are they being a salty little asshole? Did you drop them? They could be drinking, too. Temperance reverse can be just really impatient. This person's being a complete asshole. Eight of Wands reverse. Not talking, not budging, not nothing. 
the hell's all that? Why the hangman? This person's having a like little personal breakdown. Oh, and they're cold as hell. Now this also can be that you're being cold, but how do they feel about Gemini? Seven of Swords. Well, you didn't let you didn't you gave it to him good. Okay, that's the devil. That's the seven of swords reverse. So it's like everything, any secrets they thought they had, out on the table. Everything came out. Toxic shit, galore, them flaunting in front of other people. Could have been a third party situation where there's too much people going on there. Feelings, feelings, feelings. One more. Hermit. They feel like you're holding back. Keeping knowledge about yourself, anything that you're doing. It's like none of your business. None of your business. And I'm staying single. What's the blockage? What is the blockage? The lover's reverse. The communication, the communication sucks. Assholio. Five of swords reversed. They're starting to regain interest in you, but they're wondering if they even came your direction because I feel like they lied about something. What did they lie about? There's disagreements here. I mean, right off the bat with Temperance Reverse, there's been arguments. What are they lying about? What's the blockage? They need to make a better offer. If they want this to be long term. So you got a stubborn jackass after one hell of an argument here that's just holding back. Seeing that you're bitter and shitty. You let them have it. And now you're just kind of avoiding them going learn your fucking lesson. They didn't communicate something. They could have been flirting elsewhere. Why the five of swords? Reverse. Because that is potentially trying to make a right wrong. You're going to be waiting a while. This person is a stubborn little shit. Are you trying to manifest them back? This is initiation. It's just going to take some time right now. No talkie. Mm -mm. They're not as confused as they have been. And they do have an apology. But they're sitting on it. They're sitting on it like it's a fucking pedestal. What direction does this go? They'll come clean. They'll come back. They're, I mean, they need to drop some... They could be, be feeling guilty as hell. But this does seem like it's something that you're getting a little more accustomed to and enjoying some of the time alone. Honestly, with the Nine of Pentacles, you got it going on. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're not moving. Why are they, why are they waiting? Why are they waiting on something they want to do anyway? Why are the wait... Seven of Wands, because they feel like that you're just going to drop them. <laughs> it's like, they feel like you are just going to have your way. And they're a pussy. Candy ass in it. They need to put more work into it. So you basically told them off in spades. It's like, if you want a new beginning, otherwise I'm taking my love elsewhere. It can be an Aries coming in your direction. You could already have somebody that's interested in you. They wait too long, their chance is dwindling. Dwindling, dwindling. While they sit around and think about this, you got other suitors checking your ass out. You got a page of cups, you got the page of wand, you got a new beginning. So you have somebody that you had one hell of a fight with. They just dropped it. They're still being salty. They're choosing not to talk to you. You're also choosing not to talk to them. There was something toxic that they were dealing with. There could have been drinking going on, but temperance, uh, unhealthy balance, wrong approach. This person's not doing things the way they should be. You know, it's like major disagreements, impatient as hell, and then that also can be excess. So I feel like this person was excessively full of shit, honestly. And you're like, I know everything that's going on. Everything's out in the open. So let's see what signs we have up here. They're keeping shit in. They might want you back, but they're keeping it in. In the meantime, seems like other people are checking you out. Let's see what signs we have up here. Move these two. That is planning, but it's moving forward. So you're, you know, you're like moving on. Like, if you're not coming back, 
I'm moving forward. I'm looking forward to other things. I'm anticipating getting better attention from other people that might not lie to me. All right. Gemini. Virgo. Capricorn. They need to put more work into it or it's not going to go anywhere. And they're just... This is them being like, I know I'm going to get my ass chewed. I don't win no matter what the hell I do. So keep it into themselves, those salty little shit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, heavily. All right, let's get an answer from Source. Source, Geminis. What do we have for Geminis? Gemini, Gemini. Probably not, and a breakthrough is coming. All right, Geminis, that's what we have for you today, and on we go. All right, Cancer, Elemental Quickies, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Source. What do we have for Fire Signs? Nine of Swords. All right, two more. Two more, please, Source. One more. Okay, Ten of Cups. This person feels guilty about breaking this up. Ace of Cups reversed. They think that you don't care about them anymore. Seeing a lot of remorse here. They still have feelings for you, but they are just sleepless nights feeling guilty. I am feeling the need to say they might want a second chance. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four of Cups. Okay, this person's feeling sorry for themselves. Why? Why do they feel sorry for themselves? Source. They're not seeing anything. They're not paying attention to anything. They might not even be taking care of themselves. And then you got the Six of Swords. Did you leave them? Because you thought it was the better thing to do? Disappointment. Regret. And then you have the Page of Cups. They still have emotions for you. One more, because I'm nosy. They're thinking about contacting you. Just something simple to see if you would, you know, respond. And then you have strength. Hold them back from it, though. Still feeling sorry for themselves. Can be a Leo as well. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords. All right. The Fool and the Nine of Pentacles. This person wants to be single. Okay. Ace of Wands, a lot of lusty, lusty. Now, this can be coming your direction after becoming single, but ah, I'd still say they want to be single. The Fool, enjoying the shit out of dating. A lot of passion, but... This could be a, a fucking bail. Be careful. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. The Lovers can be a Gemini. What else? All right. The High Priestess. Ooh, this person's thinking. They're not sharing what they're thinking. Deep in thought. What do they think they know? I think they know you, like inside and out. So this is somebody that feels a very deep connection with you. You have the two of wands. It's like, I want to expand with you. I can see a future with you. They might not be sharing it with you. It can just be a Pisces or a Gemini, but this person wants things to go forward. They feel a very deep bond. Okay, and the Wookiee is getting us two oracles from a brand new deck by V Crystal Loves, which will be in the description box. Hello, if you are interested. Mm -hmm. Right, Scooby-Doo. Grow old with you, Adam Sandler. And I just called to say I love you, Stevie Wonder. All right, so some positive vibes going on here. Let's see what this is about. Good luck. Good. Godspeed? Really? What are you... What? You're making them crabby. See, you wonder why cancer's well, crabby. Should I say good luck? Oh, you really. Wishing them well? Person most on your mind? Source. Person most on Cancer's mind. 
or in their energetic field. Eight of Cups. All right, that's the feeling of I've tried everything. I've put all this work into it. I want to expand to see if there's something out there that's better. One more. It's like I'm restarting. I feel rejected. Why does this person feel rejected? Why do they feel like they should be moving on? When what they want is they want to start over. They want to start over. How do they view cancer? How do they view cancer? Okay. They might see you moving on. And then you have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this, to me, looks like this person was codependent on you and you dropped it. One more for the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. This is saying this person still wants the opportunity, but you moved on from it. If it felt like the right thing for you to do, yes, they do feel rejected. One more for their rejection. What is the blockage? What caused this source? I think it's going to be varied because both of you seem to have a different idea on this. Okay. Toxic shit. That's what caused this. Okay. So the devil, strength, and the, so they're still thinking about you. They know they killed this relationship. They don't have the courage to reach out to you right now. It looks like you moved on. Their actual feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Besides rejection about you. Okay. They feel like you cut them out. And that it shouldn't have been that way. And that you have a hot temper. And that you got pissed off. And just said that was enough one day. And that was it. One more for the Queen of Wands reversed. Yeah. Okay. It could have been a third party situation, but there was definitely a major fight that happened here. How do you view this, Cancer? It's like they still want to work on this connection, but I don't know that you're having it. Oh no, you are not happy. Not happy. Very disappointed. Very hurt. It's like you felt like w when you were giving to this that you were being emotionally that you you were used that you were being used could have been financially used but it's like I gave you my all and you hurt me so a little on the moody side but how does this move forward okay this can be you out celebrating um, Ding Dong the Witch is dead, but it also can be an attempted reconciliation. One more for the Three of Cups. Ooh, I don't know that you want it. They might attempt, they might try. Also can be that you have a Gemini Libra Aquarius coming in your direction. Tell us more about this King. New upright. New Someone that's going to pay more attention to you. So you have um, out for drinky treats, I feel, while you're sad sack and feeling bad about the ending that you had. This does not feel like it was just yesterday. This feels like it's been going. This person's still holding on to your energy because this had been long term, but they caused it. What was toxic about this person? What was their materialistic domineering obsession? What was their damage? It, they didn't put any work into it. They could have stepped out as well. Doesn't mean that they had to, but they were a sloth. They were lazy. They weren't focused. Pissed you off. Somebody else wants to pay attention to you and move forward. Wants to triumph. But this person still doesn't want this done. Okay, so we know their energy is still stuck in there. Tell me more about this person that wants to move forward with you. Yeah, here's you dropping the burdens going, I'm not dealing with you anymore. There's somebody new coming in that's going to offer a better commitment. Ooh, I'm liking it. If they tried to come back, that's judgment reversed. It's just like, I know better. I know better. I'm moving forward. That's the wheel of fortune. I am moving forward. 
I don't trust you. They're going to come back in possibly, or if they did come back in, <laughs> saying you're my wish fulfillment. Now that's wish fulfillment for you. Selfish. Be selfish. Because if they came back in, they'd embellish the truth and it would be bullshit. I think you already know this, so you're moving forward. Moving forward, not forgiving, making sure that, if, you know, forgive yourself, but you're not the fool, okay? They did this. You did not. You want somebody to grow old with, and you want somebody that just calls to say, I love you. Absolutely, but it's going to be somebody new. can be a Taurus. Let's see what other signs we have up here. This person wants to succeed and move forward with you. I'm feeling this is out celebrating, so you could be out at a gathering of some sort. This also can mean with two threes here that they put you in a third party situation, but I feel like you're going to be out and about while you know you're still good day, bad day, good day, bad day. Having been emotionally, feeling emotionally scarred, abused, used, shitty feeling, pissed off. Yeah, you got a right to be pissed off. They're still thinking about you. Hold back from them. They're not going to put any work into it. Devil can be a Capricorn. Let's see what other signs we have up here. Cancer is up here. I do see that you moved on from this person. I just see that they're stuck in there because they feel rejected. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Check and see what we have. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could also be this Ace of Coin, your new beginning. You started over. You rejected them, started over, and moved the hell away from them. Cancer. Capricorn, Leo heavily, Aries, Leo, Sag is in here, Bell signs are Scorpio, Aries very heavy, my, 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 all right, let's get something from Source for you Cancers, Source, what does Cancer need to hear, a little direction, take the blindfold off, I think you already did, and you have favorable. Okay, Cancers, that's what we have for you today. And on we go. Okay, Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you are dealing with the element of fire. One more. One more. Let's see what we have so far. Oh, embellished bullshit. Coming in quick. This could be a friend of yours telling a big sob story. What else? Are you friends on somebody and now they're coming in quick with bullshit stories? Why? They're not sorry. Don't listen to it. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, you got the lovers reversed. Not sorry. Shitty communication. Don't trust that person. They're going to come in with a little bit of an offer, but it's going to be bullshit. Mm -mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Source. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stuck. Stuck like Chuck. What else? How do they feel stuck? This is like, there's consequences no matter what the hell I do. Leo is not happy. Ooh, could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Aw, shit didn't go their way. <laughs> what a pity. They still have emotions for you. They still look up to you as the better person here. This could have been somebody that you had been in a long-term connection with. They also can be stuck in a long-term connection and feeling sorry for themselves. Too bad, so sad. I'll come near my Leos if you're taken. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I hate it when people do that. Oh, the grass is so green on the other side. There comes the Knight of Cups, half cocked. Mm. Heavy Scorpio. Rude awakening this person's gotten. Yeah, they. They are thinking about coming your direction, but they're feeling too sorry for themselves. One more, because I'm nosy. Yeah, wow's well, was right. Big pity party. No, 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 no. I don't think you're going to tolerate them coming back around. Okay, also can be an Aries. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Emperor can be very intolerant. 
Okay, death, transformation, change, can be an ending. What else? Oh, they still want to fight this out. That came out, I don't even know what direction it came out. There's some drama here with this person. What do they feel is right? You? We're going we're gonna to pull that out just to see. Because it looks like you gave up on it. They want to come forward. Offer yeah. love. Okay, one more random. Let's see what pops out. That's what she said. Yeah, shush. It's not what she's saying tonight. Whoop, whoop. Hey, hey. No. You don't have interest in this person anymore. You are not the right one for them. They want to argue it out. They have competition now. Too bad. So sad. No one thinks it's funny. All right. Clean deck. Clean deck. All right. First, we are getting the Wookiee. He is going to get you two new oracles by V Love Crystals. It'll be in the description box for any readers. Creep. Creep. TLC. Oh boy. And if I was your girlfriend, TLC. <laughs> if I was your girlfriend. Oh my. This should be interesting. All right, Leo. Who's the creep? Who's who's on your mind? Person most on their mind. Person most on Leo's mind. What are they thinking? Magician. Ooh, they're thinking about initiating contact or feeling like they have everything they need to get your ass. All right, what else? Thoughts. I shall initiate contact with the Leo. I shall have my way. There's that fucking emperor. Reversed. That's really pushy crap. Can be a Gemini as well. You get the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that you do have a bond with or have been in... A connection with, but with the Emperor reversed, yeah, they're a creep, all right. Why is the Emperor reversed? Stoic, stoic, stoic. Cold? They don't feel good enough. No, they don't. Five of Wands? Oh, fighting. Bullshit drama. Ooh. Can be a Capricorn. What is toxic about this person? Why why are they possessed with their Leos or what? One more for the devil. Woo! Did you see that fly? That was cool. Come here. Wheel of Fortune. They want things to go better. They want things to move forward, but it's all timing. So mm, what's the what's what is the blockage? What do they feel is the blockage? <laughs> no. Okay. It's like uh, uh, they're holding back on making an offer with the Eight of Swords here. Why are they holding back? Why are they holding back on this offer? Because... You are hurt. That's what I'm feeling here. It's like you still have some fight left in you. Do you really want this person back? Because it does look like it could go that way. But they are holding back because they know they hurt you. Would this actually be a decent person to know that they... How do you view this person? I don't think they want to hurt you. Like do any more damage? Just saying. Ten of Wands. This is something that's been ongoing. This is something that's been a burden on your mind. How do you actually feel about this person? Oh, hopeless. Okay, so there's a lack of trust with this person. You don't feel like this is going anywhere and that they just aren't reachable, not believable. And so you had to get cold. Take care of yourself. A little bit of chip on your shoulder. Barracuda. Be a bitch if you had to. Tell us more about this Two of Cups. Who's the Two of Cups? Ten of Cups. You still have emotions. So some of you are wanting this person to hurt you again. Or come back. Willing to try to work things up with them. You want the harmony back. You want the passion back 
for being patient. Why are you being so patient if they hurt you so badly? I think this person's going to leave you alone. I really do. They want the passion, but that is not love. So it's like they feel if they reach out, it's just going to be one thing. Oh, yeah, it will. That person's a candy ass. All they want is some screwing. It's leaving you... You're at a crossroads, all right. What direction does Leo... What, what source... A little uh, input here on what they should do about this devil. Be realistic. Be a little on the cold side. This person... Uh, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Clarify the Knight of Swords for what they should do. Okay, let's see what all came out. You you are less confused than you had been about this person. What are you, You're working on yourself. You could be talking to a new person if you get this shithead off your brain. Who's coming our direction? That can be that Two of Cups. Who is coming in? Rapid. Wanting to come in rapidly. Communication. Somebody puts some more work into things. It can be the eighth month, I feel the need to say. Eight of Cups. Asshole. No. Dingleberry, go away. <coughs> no one thinks that's funny, too. Hush, bookie. Two of Pentacles. Somebody that's dropped it. Ah, you guys. Seven of Wands. Don't take any more of this shit. Protest. They're going to confront you. you don't want to hear what the got to say. No, I don't want to hear what the Wookiees got to say. God knows what the hell it would be coming out of your mouth right now. They want to they want to come back around, but it does look to me like it's just passion. Tell me more about this other choice. You guys are stuck in this. Good day, bad day. Good day, bad day. Six of Swords. We can put it behind us. They're starting to get more interest in you again. Wasn't that fucking sweet? The chariot reversed. This is a pussy that's going to come in with the truth. And oh, this can be... They still hurt you again. They're going to hurt you again. Nine of Cups. They're wishing for this. Or you are pushing it. One or the other. Seven of Pentacles is putting dough in your mind. Be careful. Be careful. They're going to... No. And then they're going to bail again. Chariot reverse is like... Wimp going the wrong direction. Sideswiping trying to avoid you. So what? They come in for one last quickie? Seriously. Screw this shit. Don't oh. screw this shit. There are better options. You have a lot of eights up here. That is accomplishment and action. Yeah, it's action all right. This person wants action. You have to boss up for yourself and do what's best for yourself. The Queen of Swords is single, is alone. You know deep down that this person's, there's no faith in a long term with them because it's been so hard to be with them in the first place. Like you were the one kissing their ass constantly. And yet you want, you have some stamina left and you want this person. If this is not your story, it is not your story. But this person is just going to hurt you and leave you single again. Able to take care of yourself, your abundance, you've been working on it, you've been manifesting it. It's looking absolutely beautiful, I'll give you that. But this person here, mm -mm. they're going to they're gonna move forward, all right. But I don't think they're taking you with, okay? The Emperor reversed. Abuses their power. So be very, very careful. Very careful. They're competitive. They're argumentative. Ugh, icky. Suicide signs are up here. If I was your girlfriend, but you're not, but you're not, keep it that way. Keep your independence. Let's see what we have. Yep, looks good, doesn't it? That apple, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy Aries, Pisces. See the passion? Oh, I want to start over in the bedroom. I don't like it. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is putting the shit behind you. Leave the shit behind you. Leave the garbage behind you. Light it on fire and be done. 
Ick. No, 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 no. This is taking you for a few drinky treats. Getting together, having a date, chit-chatty. Oh, it's been so long, really. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Stop being digmatized. Oh, my. Wookie! All right, let's get something from Source. What they need to hear. Hush, Wookie. They need to hear meow. Now, you be a nice boy. And... Really? Right. No, not after that reading. You just meow like a nice Wookie. I am not a nice Wookiee. <laughs> Insufficient information. You might not see this coming. Bottom of the deck, you got a maybe. All right. Ugh, Leo, sorry. Crappy energy today. Hopefully it changes tomorrow and on we go. Okay, Virgo. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay. Nobody's feeling sorry for you, Libra. Ten of Pentacles. And this, okay, this person's not confused anymore about the long term. What else? Ah, good for them. Not special. They got their shit together. They want to hold on to you. They still have emotions for you. So you might hear from that person. Oh, yeah. They do know it would take a lot of work. A lot of work. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Don't feel sorry for him. All right, the chariot. Can be a cancer. Two more. One more. Okay, so this person's watching you, waiting for the right time. I'm feeling they need to say it. They can be at a distance from you. They want to conquer, but they're thinking about how do I go about this? So right now they're watching you, Cancer Virgo. All right, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Ooh, I have a shiny cup. Hanged man. That's really similar to this one. It's like, hold him back. Trying to, you know, they're trying to figure out how to come towards you with this really pretty cup with an eyeball floating over it. Mm. Can be heavy Pisces. One more source. Why are they holding back? Could be something that you gave up. They're going to drop their toxic ways. There was some squabbling here. It was some bad shit. So they want to come in with an apology for whatever they did that was toxic. It could have been just that damn argument was shitty. It can be just that damn simple. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. This is actually bones, so we're taking it this way. Two of Cups, somebody that you feel a similar connection with. Two people that care about each other. And you have temperance and the high priestess, okay? Deep down, this person feels like the two of you are good together. They feel like you complete them. One more because I'm nosy. Can be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. One more. They're being patient while you think. That's kind of what I'm feeling the need to say. Yeah, they have to because you're not happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, one more. One more, one more. You could have accused them of being unfaithful. You could just be, they think you're being, okay. Yeah, you feel like, they're kind of irritating the shit out of you. So they know they need to give you some space. I'm feeling the need to say very heavily while you think about what you feel deep down. All right. The Wookiee is getting us two oracles from the new oracle deck from v crystal loves it is in the description box below let's see what he gets for you hopefully we'll have something happy this time happy 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 for virgo close to you maxi Aww. priest and the power of love Aww. celine dion Aww. it's almost almost makes you want to vomit so sweet. Okay. Let's get a clean deck. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. Source. Bottom of the deck, you have justice. We do like that. So it can be a Libra. Source. Person most on Virgo's mind. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Ooh. They're thinking about a new beginning. Bringing it real. Making the right offer. New beginning. One more. 
six of pentacles they want to they want to bring more balance to a connection with you how do they actually feel about you judgment they feel like you're the right one for them now this can be new this can be a reconciliation judgment is can be forgiveness and it can be a brand new beginning so let's clarify judgment no this person's hurt why are they hurt why are they hurt because they want to give you attention are you not interested what's the blockage what's the blockage source they want to be happy so they can see this moving forward. They think that they're on the right path. They think that, that an offer, a solid, solid offer, and giving you attention or more attention, still kind of up in the air here, would help. Bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see how you view this situation. What's Virgo's thoughts? You have the seven of swords you don't know if you can trust it why the distrust why why are you holding back your attention ten of wands why the ten of wands too much burden took too long it came out sideways you're juggling the idea have they come to you yet you know have they come to you with this shiny offer yet doesn't look like it okay so there's a feeling of a chip on your shoulder and being a little bit cold towards this person right now and just wanting the truth and protecting your damn heart you could have moved on from this connection because you felt like you couldn't trust them there's a trust issue going on here let's try new upright no, it's somebody from the past that you don't you don't seem to be talking to. Okay, so what do you view as the blockage source? What is the blockage deep down for Virgo? They they didn't open up enough. They didn't offer you enough love. They're rethinking that very heavily do they reach out it looks like they want to it's like they're planning this new okay what flew out is the effort you're doubting the effort do they come at them right do they come at virgo right with a better offer you don't feel like it that can be a taurus then you have the Seven of Wands. This is something that you dropped and thought you were done with. I think they're rethinking this. Does this move forward or is this just going to be done? I don't think you're having it. The Page of Wands is this person kind of being sad. So if they reached out, you'd probably shoot them down. King of Cups, reversed. Hard to please, not always happy. I don't think you are going to take any offer from this person because of the, the history. And then you have the, I think that's a six, nine, six, nine, six. This damn deck, six of pentacles. Kind of uh, balance. I'm trying to get my shit together. Why the six of pentacles? Why the six of pentacles? Because it's been so on and off. Okay, so this is not the first chance you've given this person. There's a lot of passion here, but you know deep down that it's like on, off, on, off. Are you, right. a light switch? you are not a light switch. You don't have a dimmer either. Okay, six of cups. They're still you're still thinking about each other. Seven of cups. It confuses the hell out of you. One more moving forward. So if they came your direction, you're going to basically tell them to go fuck themselves, but at the same time, you're confused about it. The chariot. So they do want to, they mean business. The emperor wants to take their throne back and have stability. They're all about stability, keeping the peace, maintaining balance. 
Chariot, can this move forward? Yes, but it's really going to be your call. What's underneath of that? This could be keeping the peasants down. Yes, you really need to think about this. Okay, this might come at you suddenly and you're like, I don't know what the hell to do with this. There's that King of Cups reversed again. You're never happy. You're never happy. This this is like, who's budging? Who's budging? That's the two there, okay? They're going to budge. They're going to budge. They feel like you're the right one for them. They want to put more work into the situation and yet the King of Cups reversed. Emotionally manipulating or hard to please? Do they feel like you were hard to please? I don't see that it was that you were hard to please. It seems like they needed to put more work into it. You're really going to have to think about this. So if they come at you, you're not expecting it. Can be an Aries. One more for the chariot. This person's ambitious, I'll tell you that. There can be a need to travel to come see. And there's justice. That was the one that was at the bottom of the deck. And the queen of wands. There is passion. A lot of passion. Justice is do what's best for you. I'm feeling the need to say. If you need to move forward away from this person because that's what's best for you, whether you think about them or not, and it's just that the energy is there because they do want a second chance. You need to decide. You're holding back your feelings. You feel like this is a pain in the ass and a burden. You don't feel like they were balanced with their emotions. You feel like there was too much shit going on behind the scenes and that you couldn't trust them to give you enough love and love offer. It's confusing as hell. I mean, if they come at you, you thought you dropped this and then there they come. Wheel of Fortune moves forward. It's going to move forward for whatever's best for you. You don't trust this commitment that they're going to come in with because it's been so on and off. You're trying to do what's best for yourself and be more giving and generous to yourself, which you should be doing, but they consider this to move forward if they came at you. They, they really have this in their head that this can work out. So they're going to come close to you, all right? They're going to try to make this work. It's like, I have everything that we need to be able to move this forward. I have everything that we need to be able to move this forward. I can fix this. They think they can fix it. Inspector fucking Gadget. All right. I wonder what they got up their sleeve, because I feel like it's... Bob the Builder? Nah, I don't know about Bob the Builder. All right. You're still holding back, though. Okay? Protect your heart. Let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Aries Leo Sag, I don't know that you want this communication. You might be telling them, don't pack your bags and come visit my ass. All right. Aries Leo Sag, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Heavy Taurus with the Hierophant. The emotions are all up and down. Do what is best for you. Leo is in here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Heavy. Libra heavy. Hey, leave my name on. Nah, you just don't worry about what we do over here. All right, let's get something from the universe for you. Let's see what we get. Source for Virgos. A little advice or input. Well, let's take these first two that flew out. Too clouded. And the outlook doesn't look good. Let's see what else came out. Don't doubt yourself, definitely. Focus. Focus, focus, and unclear. So you are not. If this person comes your way, they're going to fuck with your head. That is not a good place to feel, so be warned. All right, on we go. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the wonderful, beautiful, awesome Libra. Aries Leo Sag for dealing with a fire sign. I guess you guys needed one hell of an entrance. The world and the seven of pentacles. This person's considering a dating connection with you. Ooh, what else? What else? What else? They're still a little salty, though. So are they moving on from one more? I feel like they're moving on from something else. They want to come in and conquer your ass, but there is a little bit of doubt here on are they ready to, you know, offer a full connection? Knight of Wands comes in real quick, but we don't know if they're going to stick around. Bottom of the deck, you do have your own damn card, though, Libra. So it doesn't look too bad. A lot of passion. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Done is done. What else? Anything else? This person still has emotions for you, but the, the done is done is done. One more. Nine of Wands. Very, very guarded. So I don't think this person's coming in your direction anytime soon. They do have emotions for you. A lot of emotions. But also they could be trying to use their intuition and hold back. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, you are my sunshine. My only sunshine. Yes, we are. You make me happy. All the time. Oh, hush. <laughs> Oh my, <coughs> this person definitely is feeling with that song for you, wanting to make an offer. Let's get rolling, let's get started. I feel like this is the right path to be on, is with you. And it can be, this is a good person. This is a good person, they have a very optimistic disposition, and they dig you. This can be something that leads to long term. Alright, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns are not talking. One more shuffle. Stubborn. All right, let's see why. Argumentative crap. Okay, so there's been some drama here with this person. They want to agree to disagree and just kind of compromise. What else? But they're not budging. Ugh, this person's hard to please. They want to compromise, but they want you to compromise. Yuck. All right, the Wookiee is getting us two oracles from our new deck by V Crystals. It'll be in the description box below. Now, why is a compromise so icky? It is when they want you to compromise and they're not budging. Oh, okay. Never mind. <sighs> Say you'll be there, my Spice Girls, and You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. You give love a bad name. Say you'll be there and... Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we got going on. All right. Person most on Libra's mind. So Libra! Is very anxious. Very anxious. Why are they so anxious? Why the Nine of Swords? Apprehensive, could be feeling guilt, shame. Got their head down like they're guilty. Why the remorse? Okay, the world. Well, that could be uh, new or dumping it. Why the world? This person might be wanting a new chapter. Why, you know, one more for that nine. Why, why, why? This is really saying this person wants to start over and be happy. Or that they are concerned that if they made this offer, you might not accept it. What's the blockage according to this person? The communication. Can be a Gemini. What's wrong with the communication? What does this person feel is wrong with the communication? Maybe that there isn't any. They're ready to budge. Okay. So are you taking an apology or do you not trust them and think that they're going to tell you anything, anything, anything to get back with you? How does Libra view this? You're not talking to them right now. You're really thinking about this. Can be a Virgo. This is kind of like, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. I need to think about this. Why the Hermit? Kind of sideways. What are you working on? What is Libra working on? Your heartache. Your heartache. 
Okay, so you're still salty and you're holding back from this person. Nine of Wands says, you know, I don't trust you. I'm kind of just thrown in the white towel. This person wants a fresh start with you. What are you going to tell them? Ooh, so there's been some battling here already. You might tell them to go float their boat elsewhere. You're frustrated as hell with this person. What do you view as the blockage? Why the Ace of Wands? Don't you even say a boo in there. Boo! You feel that this person might have waited too long to make this offer. There's going to be one hell of an offer, but are you going to be open to it? You could also have a Pisces coming your direction, and that's why you're like, you know, I'm kind of focusing on somebody else right now, or soon will be. That's passion. That's chemistry. Something that could be developing real quickly. I mean, between the hermit and the hangman, it's like, shit, now what do I do? Juggling your feelings, temperance is intimacy, it's connection. I don't know that you want the person from the past back, even though they are going to make an attempt and they might end up having to fight for you because I feel like there is somebody new coming your direction. Can be a cancer. Holding back your feelings from the person from the past because there was something toxic about this shit and they know it and they regret it. You're going to have to stay very, very strong because this person does feel very, very remorseful. So they do want to come in and try to fix this. But they did give love a bad name, that's for damn sure. Whatever the hell they did, the communication was shit. They also could have chosen somebody else over you and oops, didn't go so well. Oh, what a pity. We don't feel sorry for that kind of shit. Get your balance. Take care of you first. Do your healing. There is new energy coming your direction. It could be quicker than you think can be a distance here, but this person wants to come in and play cuddle bug, screw your brains out, and make you not have to hold back and think so hard. I don't think you're taking a second chance from this person. I just do not see it. So let's see what signs we have up here. I think you are moving forward, and that's why they're so remorseful. I really do. The world there says you're having a new chapter. That could be why they're shame. We're doing the walk of shame. Good for you. Yeah, good for you. They just want to be happy. Well, they thought they had happiness elsewhere, now didn't they? All right, let's move these two, go through the signs. Okay. We have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Heavy Pisces. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Cancer. You're moving forward. There's something so much better for you coming. You threw in the flag. You're done. It's like, you can think about me all you want, but I think they pulled some sneakery fuckery, and now they are really regretting it. Remorseful? Yes. Too late. I'm working on other shit, and it's not you. Aries Leo Sag. Capricorn. Salty. Be salty. You deserve to be salty if that's your story. Virgo. Gemini, and fire signs. All right, source, Libras, little direction, still being considered, and give it some time. All right, yeah, wait for that person that's got interest. Somebody's going to be flirting with you. On we go. Okay, Scorpios, if you are dealing with a fire, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Don't get burned. Shush. No. We have it of swords reversed. Ooh, this person knows that they're in deep doo-doo. Page of Cups reversed. I feel like they're pouting because they attempted to try to fix something and you told them, no. Nope. One more. Yeah, you stuck up for yourself. You're like, whatever the hell they had done. It's like, yeah, I still think fondly of you, but whatever they did, you're just not forgiving. You can't get beyond it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, stubborn. One more shuffle. There we go. Three of Pentacles. Reversed. Two more. 
Ten of Cups reversed. This person didn't put enough in this connection. One more. Mm, but they want to break through. I don't know. They're coming at you real flirty. They're going to try to flirt their way back your direction. I don't think you're having it. There was no balance here. You're pissed off. No. They're coming in to try to make a new beginning. They're going to be straight up and, and very clear. They are alone. But they didn't work on this. So that's what made it end. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, you got the Two of Cups. What else? All right, they're deciding on you. They are sure of themselves. And, and, and. Why the Hermit? What the hell? They've given this a lot of thought, so this could be a long time coming. It's like they're not out just for screwing. That's for damn sure. Yeah, they, they're they like, everything's out on the table. I want to move your direction. You are the one for me. So, ooh. They have waited, waited. Could have been too long of a wait. So I'll be up to you. Can be a cancer heavy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Six of Cups. I'm thinking about you. Chew of my wand. What else? Chew on their face. Okay, they don't want this to be done. Ooh, they're rethinking things. It's not special. They could have made you an option, but they want to communicate with you. They feel like you are chew or the one. Can be a Scorpio. A lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of thinking about you, rethinking. They don't want you to be getting attention from other people. What's been, oh yeah, they mean business. They want to have their boo back. All right, the Wookiee's going to get us two oracles. And then we are going to get a clean deck. We have a new oracle by V Crystal Love. It will be in the description box below for readers that are interested. It is fun. Release me, Wilson Phillips. And Torn, Natalie Imbruglia. She's got one of those goofy Imbruglia. Okay, why are we so torn? Seriously, release me is right. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have the devil. Gosh. Yep, yep. Person most on Scorpio's mind. What are they thinking? Ace of Cups. I love Chu. I love Chu, says the devil. Really? Clarify the devil. Clarify the devil source. Why are we so devilish? Queen of Pentacles, they feel like you the one. They want to offer long term. They want their boo. They want to show you that they are reliable. They consider you the one. They also could be seeing you as the breadwinner. Oh, but they're stuck. Explain to us, Source, why we have the Eight of Swords here. I know they got it coming. Queen of Cups, they pissed you off. Oh, boy. They want to make a right. They want to make this right. They want to do something to make this balance. They want to be fair. They want this to be fair again. But at the same time, they don't know how the hell to do it. Because you're so disappointed. It's like, I was this for you. I was this Queen of Pentacles. It also can be that they had already been in a different connection and that's why they are stuck and it pissed you off and it's like how can you make that right all right what do they view as the blockage king of swords why the king of swords the magician so they need to get off their dead ass and do something about this six of wands because they want to pay more attention to you this person might need to Use their intelligence and their analytical brain and actually do something because they're being standoffish. One more for that king. I feel like they need to be cold to somebody that they are in a long-term connection with before they can come your way. Married. Married. Love. You can't love two at the same time. If you do, you got issues. Ace of Swords, they need to tell this person the truth. 
How do you view the situation? You're ready to walk. It's like, I want a new beginning. I'll have it with or without you. I'm jumping into life. I'm taking I'm taking any offer I get to just even go out for a date. You're ready for a new beginning. I believe this is the Six of Pentacles. Pay attention to me or don't pay attention to me. It does seem like you want there to be balance. Can be with this person. Doesn't have to be. I will say with justice being here, they might be starting a divorce with somebody and that's what's making the discontentment. It can be this person that's pissed off. All right. What do you view as the blockage? What's the blockage according to you? The King of Cups. Mm. Okay, the King of Cups needs to be more emotionally available. Eight of Wands, it's like I've told you this. This needs to move forward or it doesn't move forward and I move away. One more for the King of Cups. This seems like a little bit of a love triangle-ish, even if they are in a separation. Seven of Swords. No, they let it, They told you. They told you. They they were honest. Do they initiate this divorce or disconnection? Knight of Swords. Sure looks like they do. Pretty damn fast too. How does this move forward with our Scorpios? Five of Pentacles. It's like they need to get their shit taken care of, and then they can come back. Because right now there's confusion around this. Why the confusion? What do they tell you one thing and then do another? That's a bunch of happy horse shit. You got the Knight of Cups and that? Okay, so they need to finish up this separation before they can come in with this wonderful, beautiful, lovey-dovey shit. It's like, you need to take care of this. I'm not going to be the significant other if you already are still hung up on somebody else. Anything else, Source, that they need to hear? You have the Ten of Wands. This is gonna. This might take longer than you are willing to uh, prepare for. One more. What do they need to hear? It's like things can't go that damn slow. But it does look like you're willing to wait it out. Okay, the Hangman. It's like I. I feel like this is right. Do I hold on to this? Do I just drop it? Do I wait? So it seems to me like you're going to wait. With the cut, we have the nine of wands reversed. But do you end up dropping it? Throwing in the towel and saying enough of this shit and just moving forward. One more for the fool. Because you want this beautiful balance. You want to start over. You're all excited about this. You feel like you're getting attention from somebody, but then they don't. Do what they say they're going to do. Yeah. It seems like you're going to be waiting, waiting, waiting. And then you're going to get cold, cold, cold. And then upset at yourself. One more for the Queen of Swords, the Barracuda. Protect your heart. That's what Source is saying. Protect your heart. Could be something better coming your direction. You're going to be waiting. Yeah, you're torn all right. Release me. They need to release the person from the past or they can't move forward. Are you going to wait? That's what you need to decide. It does look like there's better things coming. If you don't wait, protect your heart. Okay, so we have Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn very heavily. There's way too many people up here. Way too many people to say that this is just not a love triangle of some sort. Aries can be coming your direction. They're telling you the truth, but they're not doing a damn thing to change the situation that they're in. They disappointed the person that they had been in because they just didn't have the love to offer them, but they do want to offer it to you. Well, you can't offer it if you haven't completely... They don't feel like they win no matter what direction they go and they feel stuck. Are they going to get that divorce? Are they going to do the separation? Are they going to do the right thing? They say they are, but then they feel, feel stuck. Is it because there's children involved? Is it because there's an actual marriage that they can't get out of or feel like they can't get out of? Is this person holding them back? I mean, there can be a lot of different reasons here. 
So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're telling them, don't come around until you get your shit together. But, ooh, they want to. It does look like they're going to initiate something. But the... the initiate. All right. You need to initiate... Whatever the hell it is, or I'm moving on without you. But this can be a brand new beginning if they get their shit together. Gotta get their shit together. Seriously. Uh. Uh. All right. So we have, let's see what signs were. Pisces strong. Pisces very strong. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries. And Libra very heavily. All right. Let's get an answer from Source. Scorpios, Source, what do they need to hear? What do they need to know? Clearly state your intentions to the universe. Be sure of what you want. I don't feel, you know, if this is your story and you've got somebody that kind of puts you in limbo, you need to really decide if they're worth the wait. You know, are they worth the wait? They very much might be because their intentions are good. They, and they're not wishy-washy. They're not wishy-washy at all. It just seems like something is holding this up. Okay, Scorpio, that's the energy we have for you today. And on we go. Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. Two more, Taurus. Two more. All right, this person does not feel like things are done. Why came out sideways? They don't know what the hell to do. They don't know what direction to go. They aren't sure if you're interested in them anymore. You could have lost interest, but they do not feel like this is done. There is no closure. What else? They still have emotions for you. But they're not sure if you have any for them. Mm -hmm. This is something obviously that ended and needs to transform if there's going to be any chance of a new beginning. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Wookiee said to get yell at you guys, so yell. Okay. I have a fish in a cup for you. A crush. Wanting to communicate. This person can be at a physical distance. This also can be somebody that you met online. What else? Source. Mmm. Seven of Wands and those are one more. This feels like strength, but it also is that you have the upper hand here. Hold your ground. I feel the need to say. They're not just talking to you. They're talking to other people. But I do think that they have a crush on you. They have a, a keen interest, but you're like, I'm not sure yet. Oh, I got a Woody for you. Oh, Wookie. You just said that you yelled at them. Cancer... Scorpio Pisces. I yelled at that. Yes, to, to yell for you. Okay, this person is alone. They have a lot of doubt. Why the two of rods? They might feel like they wasted their time and they're heading in a different direction, but they are looking forward. Now they're irritated. Let them be irritated by themselves. Mm-hmm. Can be a Leo as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then the Wookiee is going to get us to Oracles. Okay. This person's just kind of accepting that this is the way things are going to be. They're trying to let go of the anxiety. They're trying to let go of could be possibly guilt and frustration. Ooh, they're going to make an offer. So it can be passed energy that they have with somebody else that they are dropping so that they can come your direction oh my they got one hell of an offer though <laughs> hush wookie this moves this is divine timing they're still looking some wounds here i'm feeling the need to say all right two oracles for our fine sagittarius all right we got just a friend, Biz Marti. Woohoo! You say he's just a friend. And on bended knee from Boys to Men. On bended knee. Begging. I have spoken. He has he has spoken. Alright, source. Person most on Sagittarius' mind. That was quick. 
All right, somebody that's acting a little, lot of bit, a little lot of bit cold. Why is this person standoffish and cold? Wow, major stubborn. Holy crap. Nine of rods. So this person basically has given up. Why they throw in the white towel? Take a break. Why do they feel the need to take a break? What are they trying to figure out? The hermit is going within, wanting to be left alone. Alone by choice, though. Try to figure something out. What are they trying to figure out? Whether, whether they actually want to boss up and be reliable or not. Mm -hmm. What do they view as the blockage? What's this person view as the blockage? Okay, they're calling you out. So it's like they do want a new beginning, but they're calling you out and saying that you did something dumb. What do they think you did? Could have been they thought you were unfaithful or cheating or just dipshitty. Just saying. Immature. Could have made a choice that they did not approve of. Still really. Why the fool reversed? Okay, four of cups, one more. So they're rethinking this. You have temperance? Okay. They felt like they had to leave. They felt like it was the best thing to do, but they still have emotions for you. Why did they feel they needed to leave? Kind of came out sideways. They felt like you weren't being honest with them about something. Regarding what source? Regarding what? Also could have been them that was full of... Uh, two pentacles. Mm, one more. This person's trying to heal. They feel like you were unfaithful or thought about being unfaithful and they're irritated as hell. What do you view as the blockage with this person? They got major trust issues. That they're making mountains out of molehills. It's like, what the hell here? You need to let this shit go. One more. You're not lying to them. You're like, I told you the truth. Everything's out on the table. And yet they're still accusing you. What else? What else? This is making both of you unhappy. What do you view as the blockage? Besides this person being an asshole. Page of Cups. Okay, so there can be somebody that's actually in the way. Just saying. This can be somebody that is a friend, but has different ideas for you and got too flirty and it caused a lot of conflict and this person felt like there was competition. And so they went, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I might just move a different direction. You'd have to initiate contact with this person. How do you feel about them? How do you feel about them? Page of Wands reverse. It's like, you don't trust me. You don't trust me. And you, they won't initiate contact. They will not. They feel manipulated, so they're taking a time out. They're a bossy prick anyway. Does this stand a chance at, you know, having a reconciliation? It would take a lot. There would have to be a lot more work and a lot less doubt. Ugh. So you're being falsely accused because somebody else had a crush on you. That's what I'm feeling here. How does this move forward, Source, if at all? You're going to have to go in and talk to them. It's going to have to be you because they just don't feel like things are, they don't trust the, they don't trust the situation. Whoever this person here is could have, you know, made it get to this person that you had been with or are considering on purpose. Okay. Made it seem like you did something that you didn't do because you're over here going falsely accused 
Roles can be reversed. Keep that in mind. But it's like it's making both of you unhappy. So we have a mess is what you have. Whoever the hell this is, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly, they caused the problem. They caused the problem because they're interested in you and they want to start up. Well, that's fucking irritating as hell. And now you're not trusted? That's crap. Ick. Shoot that messenger. I feel like they made sure to, you know, let it leak back that I have a crush and we did this or we did that. Not just a friend. Actually a foe. Let's see what signs are up here. Okay. We have Pisces. 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 This person moved away to protect themselves. Aries. Virgo. What a fucking shit show. Yeah, this person doesn't feel stable. They feel enough. They don't feel good enough. Aries. Leo. Sagittarius. All right. Let's see what Source has for you, Sag. Sagittarius. Pending, possibly. Foggy. Things have to get cleared up. This person has a lot of doubt and they feel hurt. All right, if that is your story, I'm very sorry. That is a bunch of shit show. If somebody got their nose stuffed in your crap and made you look guilty, that's crap. Okay, and on we go. Okay, Capricorns. Element of quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. Some stubborn energy. Six of Wands. Hmm. The Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person definitely wants to get your attention and get things moving quickly. They want to leave the past behind you. They want attention. The devil. Ooh, they're obsessed with you. Oh, yeah. Careful with that one. There's something toxic here. Oh, I want one more. It could be a little bit too much of an attention home. Four of Pentacles. Ah, you might hold back a little bit until you figure out whatever the hell it is. But Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck it does look like they want to have a even distribution of giving. So not necessarily a terrible thing. They might just be obsessed with you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Chariot can be a Cancer, Three of Cups, Ooh. Four of Wands, oh, this person wants to come in real quickly, sweep you off your feet and stick around, feels, feels very nice, like a nice deep bond, we like it, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, two more, two more. Page of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands. Okay, so this person's... They're feeling like they can't trust you. One more. Are they just generally speaking have trust issues because they're a little bit wimpy here. Very, very guarded. Can Cups... Mm. What are they disappointed about? What are they being all wimpy about? The tower. The ending. Okay. So if there had been an ending or a rude awakening of some sort, they threw in the they threw in the towel. They're disappointed. They don't feel like they can trust you, but they are not coming your way. They're a wimp. I'm nosy. One more. What caused this tower? Could have been them flirting, by the way. Three of Wands. Mmm. I don't know that that necessarily caused the ending, but it does look like they are planning something. Next card up. The Hermit reversed. They're ignoring you on purpose. <laughs> Screw that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Signs. Barracuda pissed off. The Emperor reverses. This person's up. Oy vey. 
If they come into chat, it's just to be an asshole. They want to say something. They want to have a final say. Deep down, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. The Emperor Reversed has no... No, no. They got busted, and they're pissed, or they feel like they busted you out. One more. Can be an Aries. I'm feeling tyrant jackass. Be careful with that. This person, there's a reliability issue with this person. Something is not stable or balanced, chemically or otherwise. All right. We're going to get two from our new deck. It is the Jukebox Love by V Crystals. Source, two, please. Capricorns. True colors. Oh, I bet you saw some true colors. And no ordinary love. Ooh, well, we like that. We do. Let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. Okay, source. Person. Oh, bottom of the deck, you have the world. New beginning, new chapter. Person most on Capricorn's mind. What are they thinking? Reliability, slow and methodical. We do like that. So they're making sure to take their time so that they have something earnest to offer. What else? One more. Okay, but it is somebody that owes you an apology. So they're slow as hell, but they do consider you to be wish fulfillment or that they would be content with you. Why the remorse feeling? Why the feeling of not being able to go on without my Capricorn? There's that new chapter they're looking for. Mm. What do they view as the blockage? The fact that you're ticked off and cold. What did they do that made you ticked off and cold? What made you so cold? There wasn't enough balance here. It's like this felt one-sided, so you said enough. How do they actually feel feelings? They want to come in and triumph. That's attraction and confidence. In it to win it. I can overcome any hurdle in this relationship. I am confident that I can make this good. Confessing their emotions. But they are really kind of laying it on thick. All right. How do you view this situation? This person really kind of drama, drama, drama. Okay, this is making you feel like they're telling you the same fucking story. On and on and on. What do they want? You think it's just one thing. Your actual feelings for this person. Feelings, feelings, feelings. That's saying you owe me. You owe me an apology after what you did because I've got other, I've got other shit that I can, yeah, I've got other options or I'm done and starting over and their communication sucks ass. Does this person reach out? I, I don't think you could stop them. Can they be an attention whore? Absolutely. I think they're making this to be a bigger deal. It does look like they will reach out. By the King of Cups. Okay. Page of Pentacles. One more for the Page of Pentacles. Did you friend zone them? Kind of looks that way. I think they see that you have options as well. Yep. So you're going to tell them you don't know. You know, it's like I'm refusing to make a choice on this right now. What else is coming towards Capricorn? A change. A big ass change. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know why I even felt the need to say that. But it does look like there's a different connection that would make you a lot happier. This person would boss up. Can be an Aries. Be something to start up. Have more. No, see, I think you're starting over. I don't think you, you know, it's like, devil, sorry, but I'm turning my back to you. And I've got anticipation of somebody that's got more love to give. Something with more potential. My, my. 
So you're not in a love triangle. It looks like you friends on this person because they pissed you. They pissed you off. The communication was shit. They didn't give enough to the situation. You kind of like took the, the gloves off and said, I'm done fighting about this. I'm just done with it, period, with death here. So you possibly have an Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Heavy, Leo, Heavy, Aries coming your direction with new dating. You have options and more than one. Mm -hmm. Done is done to you and you look like you are done. You have options. Your eye is roaming. You're checking out other people and there does look like there is feelings here from somebody else. If not the apology from this person, they might be just moving on to their own chapter because they're not honest. I don't feel like they're honest at all. Let's see, we have Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You finally unstucked your ass, so not stuck anymore. Gemini, new chapters, let them go, let them go. You know, you saw their true colors. No, I think you have better love coming your way. All right, a new chapter coming for you, for them as well. Let them have their new chapter slow as hell they're trying to act like they were more responsible so i feel like they're telling a different story to other people tough shit let's make sure we have all the signs that i have mentioned in case there are heavier ones okay aries leo cancer scorpio pisces somebody wants to come in with a lot of passion fun fun frolicking paying attention to you spending time with you gemini taurus virgo capricorn you're a barracuda, all right, but you got a reason to be. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius with the world there. Welcome to your new chapter. Something good is coming for you. I like it. All right, let's get cool advice from source. To be determined. Let's see what else pending. And possibly came out for you. All right, Capricorns, that's what we have. A lot of up and down. That that X is still lingering there. But they don't have anything positive to offer. So on that, on we go. Okay, Aquarius, if you are dealing with a fire sign source. Fire signs. Aquarius. All right. Oof. This feels like you are holding back. It's like, I want a new beginning, but it's not going to be just about sex. It's like, you will pay attention to me and treat me like the queen that I am using your intuition. We like that shit a lot. So someone can be an Aries, wants to start up, but it's not just going to be sex. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, source. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Oh, Romeo, Juliet. Holy crap. So someone feels a very close bond to you. <laughs> they want to put work into this with you. They feel like you are the right person. This could feel like a twin flame soulmate, but that's like I'm offering dating that could lead to something more. Nice energy. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Kind of sideways. Chariot. Reversed. Wrong direction, jackass. Ugh, they don't feel like things are done, but they're not budging. There's been some drama here with this person. One more. So you have someone that's too candy ass ish to come your direction because they hurt you. That's what I'm feeling. In the meantime, one more. One more. One more. Nah, they're full of shit. Full of shit. That's why they're keeping their distance. They don't want it to be done, but they hurt you. Icky, icky. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. All right. This person's a headache. Yeah, be careful. This person probably is coming in real quickly, but not reliable, not trustable. What was wanting to come out next is the devil reverse. But I'm not toxic. I'm really not. Nah, too quick. They don't really know what they want. They want to come in quick, but it's going to end up with an argument. Yeah, yeah, we don't use Aquarius. Doesn't work very well. Mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. All right. We have a new deck. It is called Jukebox. Jukebox Love. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. Is 
description is in below. V Crystal loves. And I know I was the first one to get my new deck. You have Crush. And you have Straight Up by Paula Abdul. Straight Up, now tell me. I won't say. I'll spare you. All right, clean deck. I'm feeling this one. Okay. Bottom of the deck. We have Strength. Okay, Courage. All right, person most on Aquarius' mind. What's the person thinking? Knight of Wall, oh boy. Knight of Wands and the Devil. No, this person's not reliable, not trustable, so they might have a crush on you, but ooh, it's just sex right now. What else? What else is this person thinking? I mean, they are very smitten with you. Eight of Wands, yep, they want to come in real quick. They can be at a distance physically where they have to come and see you. All right, how do they actually feel? Other than lusty. This is like fuck buddy. Mm -mm. How do they feel? The chariot. Like coming in for a booty call. Seriously. Why the chariot? I'm feeling they need to travel to come and see you. Ten of swords. Not over you. So it's like they got hooked. Oh, it was a crush and then they got hooked. So what a pity. Feelings, feelings, feelings. One more. Wheel of Fortune. They do feel like this could move forward. So this started out as something that it, they didn't expect it. So they're watching you. They might be watching you from afar. What do they feel as a blockage, if any? Ten of Wands. That you might have... They're concerned that you're just going to drop this. Why would you drop this? Why do they think you drop it? It's like laying it all out. So, I mean, being very open, but they're concerned. Oh, they are concerned. It's like, don't hurt me. This person's actually, you know, for starting as something that seemed to be just for fun, their intentions went in a direction they did not anticipate. So it went from a crush to a, lo a little bit, a lot bit more. How do you view this person? Page of Wands, so a little bit immature, probably because their intention initially wasn't so straight up. Mm -mm. I don't think they were straight up initially. Nine of Wands, you're a little bit guarded with this person. Heavy on the fire. Actual feelings. Feelings, feelings, feelings. So they make you a little bit guarded, but you don't want this to be over either. Guarded, though. One more for feelings. You don't see them as long term, to be honest. Okay, this could be feeling like I dodged a bullet, but at the same time, it's not over. Mm, one more for the King of Pentacles reversed. I don't think you saw this shit coming either. You're frustrated. Okay, so it's like, I don't think they're giving you the complete. It's more lust and getting their way. You want them to boss up and be the long-term type person. They didn't actually expect to feel the way that they did. So it's like there's a oh, win, lose, or draw. Very much of a can this move forward? One card for movement forward. Justice reversed. You don't know that you feel like this person's being honest with you. How do they feel about moving forward? Four of Pentacles. They're trying to hold on to you. King of Cups. What they have to do is boss up and actually show more emotion and be available. Somebody's going to have to physically move, I feel the need to say. One more for forward movement. Four of Swords. Because it's like, I'm not even talking about it being me. If you're not going to come at me right, you're taking the time out from this to try to think and decide. One more for the Four of Swords. But you do have emotions for this person's too. So, I mean, this really honest to God. It's like, ugh, my heart bleeds. Everything's out on the table. They're being honest with you. But this did not start out as something that was supposed to be long term. 
source anything that you want them to know. Any words of wisdom? Hangman, you're going to need to think about this. So this Four of Swords, stick with that. Source is telling you to really play around with the idea. There could be a better option out there. What's underneath of that? Nine of Pentacles. This person might end up being codependent or just doesn't want to be single, but they they have feelings for you. They're coming back around. Queen of Wands, you just feel like you can't completely trust it. Queen of Pentacles, it's like... Mm -hmm. Four of Cups, I, yeah. this person's having kind of like a pity party because they're like, I did not intend to end up having feelings for you. And the two of you cannot see eye to eye on this. It's just impossible. Nine of Wands, you do not completely trust them. You do have emotions for them, but you think they're immature with how they came up, you know, how this whole shit came about. It's like, this is not how this was supposed to go down. So right now... They're still trying to hold on. They don't want this to be done. Doesn't seem like you want it to be done either, but neither one of you are budging on trying to make this more of a long-term connection. Not right now. You're frustrated about it. There also can be somebody else that has a crush on you, and then <laughs> that makes it be a lot, a lot more complicated. But with the Torah reversed, you either dodged a bullet, you're dodging a bullet, or you don't want this done. You're going to know. Obviously, it's a collective read, but this did not start out to be long-term it wasn't the intent of this person to be long-term at all and they got feelings they caught feelings so it can be a cancer let's see what signs we all have up here they meant to be a player and oh they got played they played themselves if this is your story they caught feelings they caught feelings all right so this we have capricorn Cancer, Scorpio, a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces. They're trying to hang on. It might not be worth it. It might be just time to let them go. It might just be time to let them go. You'll know. But they're still coming back in. Let's get something from Source. Aquarius with the player. A wannabe player. I think they played themselves. Definitely not a no. And you already know the answer. All right. That's what we have, Aquarius. And on we go. Okay, Pisces. If you are dealing with fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. Okay. No, nope, nope, nope. This person just wants to be single. They just want to date around. They have nothing to offer right now. Not that they mean any harm. Heavy on the Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Confused about you. Why? All right. They feel like you're holding back on something. They are not sure how you feel at all. One more. They do have feelings for you, but they think that you're confused about them. Did they lie? Did they lie? Did they make you an option? One more. Mm, their intent is good. The bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So if you're wondering if they're lying about something, I don't think so. But there is a truth that needs to come out before this can move forward. Their intent seems to be decent. But there's a lot of confusion around this connection. All right. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Source? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person does not feel like this is done. Frustration. Might end up repeating a cycle. What else? Immature. Immature. Let them go. Let them go. If you don't want to repeat the same cycle with this person, that's a flirt, to say the least. Let them go. Whether they want to come back or not. Do they? No. They're dropping it anyway. They're a miser. No. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Action. Lights. Camera. 
What else? Source. This person wants to get together and have something to do with you. Could just be a date. Could have met them online. Ooh, feelings are growing. Ding, ding, ding. We like it. All right, there's definitely a new energy coming your direction, but one of them just wants to be single. So if you've been playing online, keep in mind that somebody's not as serious as another one. Source, you do also have options. So. Weak. Oops, the camera, sorry guys. And sorry. Oh, let's go for one more. Don't speak. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what this shit's about. Source, person most on Pisces' mind. King of Cups reversed. Is disappointed or very difficult to please? Why? Why do they feel this way? Seven of Cups. There's a confusion. Why the hell the confusion? Why is this person confused emotionally? Come here, card. Because of the communication, they feel a deep bond with you, and at the same time, they're confused as hell. Mm. How do they actually feel, feel, feel? What are they willing to admit to themselves? Queen of Wands reverse. They don't trust you. <coughs> they have passion for you, but they might also consider you conceited and an attention hole, and they don't really trust you. Mm-mm. They see that you want too much attention. They feel like you want too much attention. And they also could be seeing you getting attention from somebody else. Clarify the Six of Wands. Ooh. Why the Emperor? It can be an Aries. King of Pentacles reversed. This person does not plan. They, they don't think you plan to stick around. Okay? It's like... They want stability, and they think you're an attention hoe, and kind of, nah. Very good looking and very intimidating, but you get a lot of attention from other people. That's how they're feeling. So it's like you're making them feel confused because it's like, is there more than one choice? I'm feeling that they are feeling like the option here. How do you view this? How do you view this? Okay, you don't feel like this is going anywhere. So, I, why the chariot reverse? Can be a cancer. Okay, you got two. You got the, the moon reverse and the empress reverse. You don't feel like this person gives you any attention. Six of pentacles. You do not feel like this is juggling fair and that they didn't give you... An, no, it's like they held back their emotions. Wow, you guys are mirroring each other in a negative way, but the same way. One more for your side with the Six of Pentacles. But you still have some feelings for this person. That or you're like, shit's got to change because this is hurting. This is hurting. Does this person reach out? Ten of swords, well, they're not over you, but they still feel, why the lovers, why do they feel like an option? Because you're not talking to them right now, so you could have put them on, on read. Why? Why the four of swords? Page of swords. They feel like you have other options and you are checking them out. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but right now, not talking to them and holding back. Can be a Leo, can be a Virgo. They feel like you're just dropping this. How does this move forward? So this can be somebody that you're just not interested in. Could be something that you learned about them with the moon reverse that just disinterested you. And then the seven of wands. This feels like it's like, mm, I'm going to get my way. My way or the highway. But at the same time, just kind of giving up on it. Okay. So you have this person wanting to come in 
and move things forward. Do you feel the same way? Will you feel the same way if this person comes in real quick? Honest. Page of Cups. You'll consider it. So if they come at you right, is what I'm feeling the need to say. This can move forward. You have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What you don't see coming is happiness. So it just looks like that feeling of being juggled needs to be cleaned cleaned up. You know, you need to leave the past behind you if you want to move this forward. Otherwise, it's going to stay stuck. So both, you need to communicate better, a lot better. The lovers can also be, if that were reversed, I'd say your communication, both of you suck. Okay, <laughs> honestly. But this can go in a much better direction if they come clean and, you know, communicate what the hell they actually think and tell you what you earnestly want to know that you think you found out or that you think they're holding back with because you feel like they're not paying enough attention to you. So it's like, I'm holding back then. I'm going to be strong until you come at me right. I'm dropping this. So there does feel like a period of not talking, but it does seem like they will come at you right. Cut of the deck. Cut of the deck. What do we have? Got to work together. If this is going to work, you have to work together. I do see this person reaching out towards you, but I do feel like they want more stability, and so do you. So do you. But they think you're an attention hole, or that you always have to be right. Just saying. So some of that shit's got to get cleaned up. Otherwise, this looks pretty damn nice. It really does. So there is a time period of not talking. Don't speak. Sorry is yes, but they're weak when it comes to you. Feeling the need to say. All right, let's go through the signs here. Let's go through the signs. You are definitely thinking about it, but there is something you feel like they're not telling you. And it's making you anxious. So we have Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think you guys just are confused. It's like you need to talk. There needs to be communication. Because I both think you have different ideas on what's actually going on. All right, let's see what we get. Well, we'll take this pile. Okay, let's see what we have for you. Unsolved mysteries, irresistibly so. Use your intuition and there is a waiting period. So while you're holding off, there's that feeling for you. I, there's more. You're not telling me something. Using your intuition. You might be overdoing it with your intuition because this person really, you drive driving crazy. There is feelings there. All right, Pisces, that's what we have for you today. Many blessings. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.